Charlemagne, 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 What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Strong Guy Build-A-Figure Waves Black Tom Cassidy. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Marvel City, City of Collectibles, Collectibles, where you can pick up your Marvel Legends and all kinds of other action figures. They have their daily deals and an awesome rewards points program. So check them out, link in the description below. And while you're down there, please go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. I like how it has the big old Marvel logo right Right there on the very front anyway on the side you can see a black tom right there and then on the back you can see a product shot of the figure right over there there's a read up over here before i read it go ahead and pause it right now there's the other figures from the wave there's black tom cassidy again and then you get a spot varnished marvel logo on the top not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open <laughs> So Black Tom comes with the Build-A-Figure piece and the one accessory right over here, not including the coffee stain. And yeah, it's a pretty good looking shillelagh. Yeah, I do like this. So Black Tom's power is that he could channel biokinetic energy through wood. Uh, later on, he gets really overpowered. But yeah, for the most part, you know, he could shoot energy blasts and everything through wood, mostly through this shillelagh over here, which has an awesome skull sculpt right over there at the end of it. I really dig that. That's pretty neat. Then you have all these little, I don't know, like branch knots on it or something. I don't know exactly what that is but it would have been nice to see a little bit of a wood grain pattern right here or somewhere on it so could have been better but yeah still not bad and we'll say i wish they had some effects for this shillelagh you know i did kind of get the sticky tack and effect going from the yellow ranger thank you again will and that looks kind of cool if you have it angled right maybe a lightning effect that could possibly work but yeah some kind of effect piece for this would have been pretty cool to have <laughs> So my memory of Black Tom Cassidy is mostly as the sidekick or partner of the Juggernaut. He's also the cousin of Sean Cassidy, a.k.a. Banshee, and the father of X-Factor member Siren, who I would love to have a figure of, by the way. And I've always wanted a figure of this guy, and I'm happy that we have it right over here. He has the ability of channeling kinetic energy through wood, as I explained already. Then at one point in the recent comics, Black Tom has become incredibly powerful, being able able to transform into wood and manipulate wood and stuff like that kind of like a man thing type character but yeah this is an okay looking head sculpt not fantastic not you know bad or anything and i don't know from promo images it looked a lot worse than what i'm seeing right over here i think maybe it's because you know through the promo images you couldn't see all the detailed sculpt on the face you know it probably looked too flat but there's some nice wrinkles in there changing things up maybe some kind of shading or something or maybe a slightly darker tone but i actually think it's just fine man it looks like black tom cassidy to me he does have a little bit of a something about mary thing going on right here in his hair i've been trying to get rid of that it's a little frustrating but you can see the top of the head looks pretty good right there then they did add this huge collar piece right here and pretty much the rest of the figure is a repainted Shatterstar figure i did not get good paint apps on mine so i'm gonna hunt for another one oh god i am frustrated about that you can see actually they did add some sculpting work here that we didn't see before right that chest right here is all sculpted that's new you don't see that kind of detail on the top of the Shatterstar body mold and i really I really wish that they added that little bit of pattern that you're supposed to see in this logo or whatever this is supposed to be right over here. But yeah, uh, too bad about that messy paint. <laughs> there could be worse things in the world, but still. But yeah, the figure still looks good, like the gloves and hands and everything, except for this added belt right here, which you can see the paint missed the mark, so that's unfortunate. And of course they added this piece, but yeah, it's mostly uh, just a repainted Shatterstar figure. You know, the gloves, the boots, legs, all that stuff, it's the same as what we see on Shatterstar. So nothing really unexpected with the articulation on this guy. He can move his head upward and downward that far. He gets side to side motion no head tilting or pivoting shoulders will move outward that far and they can only move inward this far which is frustrating same frustration that we had with the shatter star you could rotate the shoulders all the way around bicep swivel double jointed elbows then the wrist turn side to side they both hinge up and down ab crunch forward ab crunch back waist swivel hips move outward that far he'll kick forward back upper thigh cut double jointed knees boot rotation ankles move down and 
and they don't really move up. Ugh, still, they don't really move up. And he does have beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out this Black Tom figure, you can see that he is standing maybe just under that six and a half inch mark. And then here's Black Tom next to our two Hasbro Juggernaut figures. We have the Build-A-Figure Juggernaut and we have the two-pack Juggernaut that came with Colossus. And I just wanted to know which one do you guys like best with the Black Tom figure? For me, I'm leaning more towards this combination right over here. I just feel like this newer Juggernaut has more of that old school Juggernaut look to it. I mean, I still really like this Juggernaut figure. It's why I still have it. These two look cool side by side also. I mean, you know, you have Black Tom next to Juggernaut. It's going to look cool, but yeah, I think this is going uh, to be my ideal setup. I'll probably just place them next to Juggernaut on the shelf, as we all should, right? Dare you not to, man. I dare you not to. And then here's Black Tom next to his cousin. We have Sean Cassidy, aka Banshee. And wow, this is from the first wave of Hasbro Marvel Legends. We desperately need a new Banshee. Hopefully it won't be part of the very last waves Dwight works on, you know, so you don't have to make it that way, Dwight. Yeah, we can give us one sooner. But anyway, yeah, uh, these two don't really fit into scale at all together. So, you know, yeah, we need that new Banshee. And then here's Black Tom next next to Shatterstar, and you can see, yeah, a lot of reused stuff over here, you know, it's the collar, the head, and the belt, that's really all that's new. Well, and that piece of chest over there as well. And then here's Black Tom next to the other figures from this wave that I've already reviewed. We have the pirate Deadpool, Shikla, the new X-Men Deadpool. We have Warpath and Sunspot. And, and yeah, I consciously put Shikla between both Deadpools right there. A little Deadpool sandwich. Maybe when they're alone. A little DPDP, DP, huh? Ah. And then here's Black Tom next to your average six-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider-Man. Oh, God, I got this itch on my back. Jeez. Hey, do you think I can borrow that back scratcher? Oh. Oh, why does that smell like shit? And why is it all lumpy like that? Uh, oh, oh, gross! Oh, companion stick, gross! <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big extra thank you to all these supporters that go the extra mile to make sure that these videos keep coming your way. If you are interested, check the link below. This figure is okay. It's an adequate figure, really not a whole lot going on. I, I'm just not that enthusiastic about it. It has the same problems that I had with the Shatterstar figure, which I really like, but you know, with this kind of being a repaint, not really. They've obviously added stuff. It's just not that interesting of a figure. However, a character I wanted in Marvel Legends figure form for a long time. So I'm not complaining about getting the Black Tom. I am happy to have this figure. It's just not that crazy of an interesting figure. Maybe if he came with some blast effects or something like like that maybe that could have put it over the edge and i did get a copy with some bad paint apps so that's another thing that's kind of a downer for me so anyway at the price point of around 20 to 25 bucks i'm gonna give this black tom figure a sud rating of i'll wait for the black friday sale and i'd like to know what you guys think so be sure to let me know in the comment section below if you want to see the latest in marvel news you could find it all over at marvelousnews.com and don't forget to follow me over on the instagram twitter twitch and stardust and i will catch you guys later peace <laughs> Action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't. Shot, 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 shot,